Let's now close the programming windows and pop up the help window once more to see what other windows we need to explore. Hitting a lowercase s brings up a serial connection window. This window allows you to specify which serial port to use to connect to the DCC base station. Serial connections are a topic in their own right, and instead of covering this now, please refer to my DCC++ overview video, which describes all of the components of the DCC++ system and how they are linked. Hitting a lowercase e brings up a window I reserve for extra functions that don't have a natural home. Here I place two buttons. One turns on and off the rotating head of a cleaning car. The other turns on and off randomly generated background sounds emanating from the sound card I have in engine number 54. These sound effects have been playing in the background throughout this demo and in some of my other demo videos as well. Hitting a lowercase d brings up the serial communication window that shows all of the commands that the DCC++ interface controller are sending to the DCC++ base station and the responses the base station is sending back to the controller. This is used only for diagnostic and development purposes. Hitting a lowercase x and an uppercase s bring up two windows related to automation. The autopilot window provides status and monitoring of any autopilot routines in operation. The sensor window provides diagnostics and monitoring of all of the sensors embedded in the tracks used to detect the trains and their locations. As mentioned earlier in this video, I won't cover these topics now since they are quite detailed and deserve a video of their own. Finally, let's take a look at two remaining windows that are just for fun. If you hit a lowercase q, a train information window is brought to the surface. I use this window to display a picture and a brief description of whatever engine is presently selected for throttle control. Note that DCC++ comes with a lot of features, but a library of photos and descriptions of each train is not one of them. The window is there if you want to use it, but you're on your own for creating the photos and text. Hitting a lowercase l brings up the last window to explore. This specialty window controls an RGB light strip I installed at the top of my layout to help set the mood. It's actually a lot of fun to play with lighting because you can set the scene to sunrise, to sunset, to clear nights, or to cloudy nights. So that concludes our detailed tour of the DCC++ interface. If you've made it this far, thanks very much for listening, and please do check out my other videos describing how the overall system works and how you can quite readily build one for yourself. Bye for now.